Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We at the moment on FIFA 23 don't have an icon pack or an upgrade pack. And today is a Monday where we in the past have seen those types of SBCs dropped. And it's a little uncharacteristic of EA to not have an SBC like that available in game. Is that going to be part of the content today? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Can we invest for that? And we have to talk a lot about the market because Road to the final prices are rising. I've invested in some, and I think a lot of people around this game are investing in these live cards because the content's been a bit slow the past couple of days over this weekend. Not a ton has been happening, but we are getting closer and closer to these games that will impact some of these cards' potential upgrades here. Even at the end of this week, the first road to the final upgrades will be happening. So there's a lot to talk about today and some last minute reminders about future star swaps so a lot going on if you're excited for the video today hit the thumbs up and if you're new around here subscribe if you are new let's talk about the sbc that i think is actually really high chance of prob high chance of it dropping today in the game high probability of this icon pack and you know what one we might get is the 89 plus that was just i mean removed from the game over the weekend right sundays recently have been the days where we've gotten icon packs or hero player picks but yesterday, we didn't have one, right? We had the Spinazzola SBC that was dropped. And of course, we have the Icon Player SBC that was dropped on Saturday for Fernando Torres. We'll talk about those in a little bit. But we don't have an Icon upgrade or a Hero Player Pick Pack. And before we got on this streak of about a month and a half of those types of SBCs dropping on Sundays, they were dropping on Mondays, which is why I believe this SBC could be coming back today or some other form of an Icon Pack or a hero player pick or a hero pack, right? Now, the reason why I think it might just be this 89 plus once again is because EA oftentimes like to release an SBC and then release it again, right? We saw the 88 plus uh, icon pack two different times, right? We see a lot of things repeat in this game. So watch out for this. Maybe that 87 plus hero world cup or regular uh, player pick comes back again. I think that would be a little bit less hype than the icon, at least this icon since it gave out primes and world cups only. But some sort of that type of pack today, I do believe, will be dropped in the game. Now, with the Icon Pack expiring and really not a ton of SBC demand besides player SBCs, at the moment, fodder is down. 84 is 4,000 coins. 85 is about 11.5k. 86 is at about 15 to 16k. I mean, look at 88s. They're at 27,000 coins at the moment. These guys are low, right? These guys were well over 30,000 coins um, during the weekend. Uh, during the last couple of days where that icon pack was still out, right? 32K, even if you look into early last week, these were like 34,000 coins uh, after the weekend when that SBC was kind of fresh and still new to the game. Is there an investment opportunity here? Absolutely there is, right? Mondays, we usually see the market rise. I think that's going to happen today. People get their rewards. They go out, buy some cards. I think people are expecting an icon pack today. I think you will see fodder cards rising into the content drop today. But if you don't want to try to invest beforehand, and if you don't want to kind of, you know, have that risk of, well, could EA not drop an SBC today? Absolutely. They could not put out an icon pack or a hero pack, and it would kind of fit the how the content's been going on in this game right now. It's been a little bit slow, right? So that is absolutely a possibility. Of course, with EA, things are really random pretty much most of the time, but they're also, you know, we can predict them sometimes too. So I'm predicting that we get an icon pack today, and if you want to invest in some fodder, if they're going to drop this SBC once again, I would say the 91s would be the place to go because all of these guys were 69 to 70,000 coins earlier in the last uh, two weeks. You can see 69,000 coins on Saturday for uh, Lewandowski. And of course, earlier last week, when other big time SBCs were dropped, 68, 69K after that icon SBC dropped on the game last Sunday. So I like the 90s and 91s just because if the SBC comes with the same requirements, it's got that 88 rated squad in there. And I feel like the 91s did the best. 88s did really good. 89s did really good. So that high tier fodder for the highest rated squad in that SBC, if it's a simple refresh, I would probably go up the most. Now, if we get like a hero player pick today, then it's going to be a bit cheaper, right? And again, just to preface this, the 89 plus that we had was the most expensive icon SBC we have had this year. All other ones have been under 300k. And then EA hit us with a 500,000 coin icon pack. That is something that we hadn't seen much of. A lot of them have been around the 200k mark. If we get a hero player pick today or a somewhat cheaper icon SBC, I would expect to see the lower tier part of the market rise. Maybe your 85s, which at 11K are really tempting, right? Because these guys have been pretty consistently been around like what? I mean, these were 16K like a couple weeks ago. 
but you know, 13 to 14,000 coins, 11K to 14K, that's a pretty solid fodder flip in like a two day hold. So, you know, 84s, 85s, 86s could be an investment as well. The best thing that I would say to do is maybe do a little bit of a club stock. I don't know if it's like an all in type of week, because again, with the content, the way that it's been rolling, yes, there are SBCs on this game, but the content hasn't been that insane, right? Spinazzola, again, we want to talk about this a little bit. It is a nice card and it is, I don't know, it's kind of like a lot of people here are voicing their opinions either for or against Spinazzola. There's like no middle ground, which it is a nice looking card. You can compare it to Teo Hernandez and say he's got a better skill move rating, got a better weak foot, doesn't have as good of stats. Like the inform Teo Hernandez is down a ton because of this. But I think that inform Teo Hernandez is a little bit better with a little bit better links. But the Spinazzola is a cool card. He's always FIFA meta. And I understand why people want to do this as well. So I don't hate this SBC. Um, I guess I'm kind of in the middle of it a little bit. It's not amazing value, but it also is not like a terrible value at the same time. Only 190K, very easy to craft. But like that's kind of the SBC that's pulling the fodder demand right now. And all the other outstanding SBCs that we have, a lot of, so like Player of the Month Mbappe, people out there that might be completing this SBC. We're going to have another Player of the Month for Ben Yedder coming tomorrow. We still have a Rashford. We have Osaman. We still have some other player SBCs that are still live. That's where kind of the demand is, but that's going to start. Like these guys are going away. Ramos goes away today. Bale goes away. Pogba four days from now, you know, and with a lot of these SBCs expiring in the next week, play the month Mbappe going away. I, I know you do have a Ben Yedder, like we mentioned, and maybe an icon pack. So I think this week could still be pretty good for fodder, but I wouldn't say that like fodder at this point, since it's been so high in the grand scheme of things, will be a really good long-term hold on most of them. I think it would be more like a, a short term, going to quick flip the cards this week, trade with fodder on the weekly like we normally do, that sort of thing. So just kind of to put that out there with fodder, that's where I feel like we're at at the moment. So invest with where you think the content might be today or always, this is an absolutely an option you can do too. You can wait for content to drop today. And let's say like Benzema right now is what, 60,000 coins, maybe like 61K. Let's say content drop comes down to uh, today and he's like 62K but they drop the same icon pack. You can go, and this is an absolutely um, a very common investing method. When content drops every single day, people see what SBCs are needed. They go out onto the market, they buy those requirements, especially if it's an SBC that's gonna be really hyped. They see the market go up and they sell in that hype, uh, buying the card, like spam buying, right? Buying a bunch of Benzema's right when the SBC would drop. As people go out to do the SBC, the demand pushes this card up and you make profits that way. That's a really quick flip, right? Just kind of spam buying as I kind of call it. So that's obviously an option you could do today too. Wait for the SBC to come out, then go out and buy those cards. Um, and we'll be watching that all live on stream, link down below in the description as well when the content drops today. So that's kind of my thoughts on the icon pack. Um, if we do get an icon pack today, would that impact the market? Well, obviously it would make fodder go up a little bit. Now it just depends on how hype that SBC is as to whether it would make any of these like road to the final cards drop that much, which again, these are live cards. And I really believe that their prices are going to stay pretty steady because they're not that easy to pack. They're not like terribly hard to pack, but also they're live, right? And we've seen live cards this year on this game do absolutely crazy things and rise crazy amounts, especially when the content's not that good. This is the example I keep remembering during the second week of Path to Glory earlier on this year. This Christian Romero card, before Argentina, of course, had, you know, progressed in the tournament. Path to Glory started early on in the World Cup cycle. This guy was 140,000 coins on the Saturday and the Sunday, and then he exploded 230k by Tuesday. Literally in a three-day span, he went from 160, 140 to 160, all the way up to like 240. It was crazy with these cards how much they exploded because, again, the games were upcoming, and people wanted the opportunity to invest for the potential upgrades, and I'm, st I'm feeling... Feeling that same thing with these cards and also just look at some of the prices on these cards too. I can't believe that Martial, Martinelli, and Chiesa, specifically those three, I feel like are just very, very overpriced. I feel like the upgrade people are just imagining is already baked into the card. I understand that Martial looks really good, Martinelli and Chiesa, they all look really good. But I think they are definitely overpriced at the moment based on people hoping that their cards are going to upgrade and uh, that they're going to have higher ratings. Now, I think other cards that have really good potential to upgrade as well are a little bit undervalued or valued like very fairly. I feel like Atal is valued very fairly. He's guaranteed an upgrade, but I think it's a fair value. Alaba, I think, is valued very fairly as well with the potential of upgrades there. 
Um, I think Ferran Torres is a bit cheap. I think that um, Nuno Mendes is a bit overpriced, right? 460k PSG down, but not out, but still down. You know, Lucas Moura, 195,000 coins. It's all with these road to the final cards. Um, you know, in terms of their price and in terms of investing, um, you just you have to take into account so many different factors with these. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things today, I do believe a lot of these guys will slowly go up in price. If we do get an icon pack or if we do get good content today, they could take a small hit. That might just be a great opportunity if there's some dips in prices today and they're not up too much from where they were uh, over the weekend. Maybe you have an opportunity to buy if you have not yet. But if a lot of you guys have bought or if you're still thinking when to buy it, the lowest point was honestly early Saturday or late Friday. Like that was 100% the lowest point. Barella was 300,000 coins and he's obviously spiked up big time as a lot of people are looking forward to the matchup this week against, um, I think they're playing Porto. And it's like, okay, that's an easy or a favorable matchup. They should be able to win. So they're hoping that his upgrade will happen by the end of the week and he'll go to a 90 rated. Those are the cards that you want to look at. We talked about that in the investing video. If you want to go check that out, um, taking a look at which of these cards to invest in because of like why. Um, and that's how I'm investing, right? I've got a couple cards that I think have potential to get upgrades this week. But then I've got a couple other ones that, have, of course, I'm holding on to for maybe like a couple weeks down the line. I picked up a couple Lucas Moras at 190k right around there because I feel like, yes, they're losing right now in aggregate, but there's still potential for a comeback. One of the fastest right wings in the Premier League on the market, not an SBC. Um, and it's only 190k. I don't think that's too bad. Ferran Torres, right? Big game on Thursday with United. I think he is a lot more investable than Martial because he's 190k versus 800,000 coins. And then a tall is just a tall. And I picked up a couple of Felipe Andersons as well because many of these cards are always rare. So that's just to talk about the road to the finals. I do believe their prices from here on out throughout this week will stay pretty stagnant or probably just go up, honestly. Um, because at the moment, content's not that insane. And with live cards, guys, live cards just defy the odds, right? You think that, nah, Nate, these guys have to drop a little bit, right? Well, unless EA do something really surprising today, and drop like an absolutely mental icon pack or something like out of this world good i really don't think these guys are going to drop that much right because they are live and people people with live cards they just buy them and they sit on them right it's not like they're buying and they're trying it out they're buying and they're sitting on the card and waiting for those potential upgrades and that's why we see the insane drop-offs later on when teams end up losing um but that's also why you see the insane rises when uh, teams keep winning right because people are holding on to those cards not listening them up to try and to go get a new card they're, they're waiting for those upgrades to happen so road to the finals are still some of the best cards in the game i do think their price is going to rise today they are kind of what is like the central focus of this market right now the gamble aspect is not just on sbcs and packs it's also on the cards on the market so you know just to speak about the market a little bit more right quick if you're like nate what's going on with future stars cards i was just clicking around here a little bit um, I think that the road to the finals being just the live cards have pulled some prices down a little bit. Now, Mudrick, he might be affected by Martinelli, of course. Uh, a couple good left wings in this promo team, right? Chiesa, you've got uh, the Martinelli. But, you know, a million coins is down like 100,000 coins. Alvarez was down a little bit. Taking a look at some other future stars, I see. And Ketia is up, right? He's up a good amount. Timber is down a little bit. Musiala is up a little bit. So it's not like we've had crazy fluctuations. With these cards, the market's still just pretty average, right? A couple cards down here or there, a couple cards up here or there. Kind of matches how the content's been recently too. Again, like we've said, just kind of average. So I don't really have any worries about a market crash or anything along those lines, of course, because right now the content just seems to be pretty mid on this game. Now, speaking of content, just a little bit more, let's talk about what else we could expect today. Mondays are upgrade pack days, right? Absolutely they are. We had that 81 times three added to the code and I still believe we're going to get that as an upgrade pack. I hope. Um, I don't know if it's dropped anywhere else in the game, but that 81 times three would be so perfect for Future Stars Academy upgrades. And I would love to craft some of these or 81 times threes this week. Have a really, really good upgrade pack this week with the road to the finals that are out. I mean, imagine packing a live card, if, especially if it's not like a rival club. You can kind of just like jump on, on board, right? And say, all right, I'm going to kind of root for this team just for the FIFA measures that I have this card as a road to the final live item that I would love to see get upgraded. So with that being said, always on Mondays, give yourself a nice little club stock of gold commons, gold rares. I think gold commons are still, yeah, 450 uh, coins. Gold rares are probably still about this card at 650, 700, I'd imagine. Yeah, so 
get on some bids, get on some snipes, stock the club up if you have an interest in doing upgrade packs today. Um, it was nice to have the player picks last week, but the 81 times 3 would just give you 3 cards instead of 1 out of a player pick. Probably be a bit more expensive, um, and they could just drop the 80 plus player pick again, who knows. But some sort of upgrade pack is going to be headed our way for today. Also, the daily SBC packs, right? That tied to the objective. Uh, yesterday, we had the Benza goal or something like that. Yeah, it was a three Premier League players pack. So I don't know. I guess that was because that was the Real Madrid game against Chelsea in the quarterfinals. So I, we're probably going to get another one of these today. Again, watch out for some tradable supply. That could impact the market just a little bit. Uh, but watch out for one of those today. And then we don't have any other leaks at this moment for player SBCs. But I'm really looking out for an AC Milan player SBC because there has to be a Milan player that is represented by a live road to the There has to be. I know we just had the, the Catalera SBC um, and stuff like that. But there's got to be a live Milan player that gets an SBC or an objective card this week with road to the final because they're one of the clubs that has not yet uh, represented by a live card. And uh, I feel like they have to be, especially since they're like winning right now against my Spurs um, in their first round of 16 matchup. So watch out for those leaks. Maybe a player SBC today if we get a late leak. And the last thing I want to give you guys uh, some notice on is if you have not finished it yet, do not forget to turn in and to finish and wrap up your swaps for future stars because these go away today. And I really am looking at myself here saying this because I need to get two more tokens to complete the um, swaps 84 times 20. I got to go do some Silver Stars games and get that done before content today so that I can have this 84 20 pack and then maybe be crafting some SBCs. We'll see when I'll end up over to that. Probably, you know, I'll probably open that today on stream. But, you know, that's a, just kind of a warning and a, a shout there that if you have not turned those in, make sure you go and do that. Or if you're grinding some last minute objectives or SBCs to get it done, make sure you go ahead and do that as well the other thing is we haven't had that provisions pack there was a pack code the provisions pack it has not been dropped into this game yet we've had the other store packs the foundations and the pivot pack but no uh provisions pack which could be very interesting because that was the one if you remember the pack code guys this was the one that said contain it's like remember the 100 players non-rares pack this one gives you 50 gold rares all between 75 and 81 which would be perfect if ea were going to release that 81 times three and require 11 rare golds. Um, we talked about this a little bit in the stream. This would be a perfect pack that people would want to buy to open up an upgrade pack that would require rare gold. So I see a rare gold requirement somewhere very soon in our future uh, of upgrade SBCs on this game. Now, a couple other things left to go over really quickly. I do want to talk about the Fernando Torres because, I mean, guys, this actually isn't that bad of an icon SBC. It's Fernando Torres, Spanish links. I know icons are not the best with links this year. It's pretty craftable though. 84, 87, and 88. Only three squads to get done. Of course, the bronze and silver squads that are there. Um, it's coming in at 480,000 coins, according to Footbin right now. And I think part of that is because fodder is dropping and is a little bit lower that this looks better now than it did in value. But 480k, you know, it's not the most meta card. But if you're a fan of Fernando Torres or if you just need something to craft, right? I know a lot of people right now are doing the League SBC grind and it's actually paying out really, really well. If you want tradable and untradable packs and you want to learn a menu grind, do the league SBCs because it is a really, really good grind in this game. I keep seeing people tweeting me stuff of pack pulls that they get. So that to me is not terrible value, especially, especially when the card is more than that on the market. 520, 530k after that undercut right there. So GG's the EA, honestly, on an SBC that goes overlooked because it's not super hype, right? Um, and then again, the spin on Zola, you can see 53% upvote, 47% downvote. People are really undecided on this one. And it's just kind of between... Do you need this type of links in your team? Like, of course, the Chris Smalling was out and this linked perfectly or links perfectly with that. Um, but of course, if you didn't do Smalling like myself, I've got a red untradeable 86 tail Hernandez, which I'm just going to keep that in my squad. Why go spend 175k on this when I already had that card and it works better for my links and my team? That's my mindset. But uh, I really wish they would have given spin a, like the five star weak foot or the skills to make that SPC just a little bit better or make it cheaper at the current price point, of course, because this is a direct, this card's taking a direct hit because of that SPC from 220K all the way down to 160 uh, where he is now. This might rebound back up just a bit, but you know, it's taking a direct hit because of the Spinazzola sub substitute, right? Substitute item on the game. We see this all the time. New player comes out via SPC. that's about the same. People go and do that. He can play left mid as well, which is different from Spinazzola. I get that. But he's right-footed on the left. 
four star weak foot. We that's why I also wanted the five weak foot. That would have been nice. Um, playing a right sided player at left back just doesn't always work the best. Uh, but if you have five star weak foot, it worked better. So other quick things to mention: Calvin Phillips is extinct. Six hundred fifty thousand coins. Many of these cards are always rare. It's quite an interesting upgrade from his rule breakers. He got plus nine physical and plus six pace, which makes the card a lot more usable. But I think EA didn't upgrade him to like any more than they did uh, because obviously they think City has the potential to go pretty far in this tournament. So he's extinct at 650. As always, Sunday cards are rare um, and going to have less supply, which is something to keep in mind uh, whenever they update his price range and whatever he is on the market. And however, City go, how far, however far City go in this competition, that's something to keep in mind. We had the Felipe Anderson dropped yesterday, um, a nice kind of cheap card. They are actually, I believe they either won 1-0. Yeah, I think they won 1-0 in their first matchup, but they got a red card. So I don't know how that's going to affect their team in the second leg, but this is like kind of one of those that you would expect to get uh, an upgrade, like for sure. And it's not a bad card by any means. So watch out for Felipe Anderson's price. He'll be moving a good amount. And then we also had two more in the middle. We had Forsberg. And I forget the last one, but Forsberg, I think this is a little bit of, a, I know it's, they're playing city and it's like, ah, this is not going to get upgraded. Right. But that's not a terrible card. Four star, four star for a cheap Bundesliga with some Leipzig links. Like that's, that's a decent card right there. I don't know. I, I, I just, I like Forsberg cards because, you know, I just dream of getting the Swedish links with Zlatan in there too. So those were cards that were in a mini release. Um, and I think there was one more that I'm completely spacing on at the moment, but um who was it oh yeah tuta right they're playing against napoli so not a really good chance for them to win on paper but i mean give this guy an inform upgrade and he's looking really saucy especially um you give him two upgrades this card could be absolutely insane so i hope i mean sorry to my napoli fans out there but if there's an upset on the table here i would love to see frankfurt beat napoli because this card for fifa purposes only would be pretty cracked i think so that's kind of a roundup of what's going on in this game. I am going to be chasing after the road to the final objectives this week in the cup. Last 16, getting my 84 times 20 today, ripping through some upgrade packs and uh, seeing what surprises EA Sports maybe have for us on this game this week. Because I know a lot of you guys have been saying, I've been reading the comments and listening to you guys. Um, it's I know it's not the most hype at the moment right now, but hopefully EA can change that up just a little bit and maybe we get some more rewind players as well we would love that come on esports road to the final rewind players all we have right now is spinazola give us some more all right well thank you guys for watching the video today if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new have a great start to your week and i will catch you in the stream today it's been native one account and catch you guys there peace